Really what we're talking about with the complex immune-related adverse events is the fact that we're not generally fortunate enough to have just one come up. <laughs> um, and so, for example, this afternoon we're going to discuss a case of a patient who presents to an outside emergency room with cough, sort of a low-grade fever, shortness of breath, um, and is diagnosed with a pneumonia and then started on antibiotics. And then that patient doesn't get better and presents to your office two days later feeling worse in terms of their respiratory symptoms, but also having severe diarrhea. And so at that point, the question is, you know, well, shoot, what's happening? Are they having diarrhea because of antibiotics? Or are they having diarrhea because they have a colitis? And is this really a pneumonia or is this a pneumonitis? And so you have a lot of things happening at once. Um, and so we'll talk about the fact that at that point, your next most appropriate steps would be better diagnostic imaging, um, because that case study, the patient got an x-ray in the outside emergency room. Uh, so we'd get a CT of the chest and a CT of the abdomen and look at that, and to find out that the patient does actually have a grade three colitis and a grade three pneumonitis concurrently. Um, and so then moving forward from there and how we would taper the steroids, um, whether the antibiotic did play any role in the diarrhea, so do we need to change antibiotics because we, sh we should probably prophylax, um, all those different questions. So that's what we mean by the complex immune-related adverse events.